the last days on earth, apocalypse, great purification, doomsday, judgment day, whatever you like to call it. The facts are that this day will come in one way or another, one form or another. You know it's coming, maybe not when it's coming, but I'll tell you when I think it's coming. December 21st, 2012. And I can tell you why and I can back it up with facts, quotes, revelations, sightings, biblical predictions. Basically start off with the ancient Chinese. They had this calendar based on uh, astrological events, solar observation. It foretells the end of society or a new beginning, some type of great purification where as the sun passes over, it's gonna create a silhouette of a dark dragon that encompasses the entire calendar. And what's gonna happen is they say the sinners, the bad people, they're all going to die, which is very similar to the Mayans. So we have the Chinese, one culture, one area, one time. But then you throw the Mayans into the mix, creating a completely different solar calendar. So this calendar is so precise that it, it literally predicted moon cycles thousands of years, 12,000 years into the future. And they came up with the same exact date, December 21st, 2012. So that means that China and the Mayans came up with both of these calendars and coincided on the same date based on their own calculations. And uh, that brings us to the next thing, Revelations. of it when you get down to the real close to the end is the Antichrist he's gonna come he's gonna be a, uh, a male first of all he's gonna come to an economic leader of power so he's gonna basically be the most powerful being in the world the next thing is he's gonna be very favored by the middle or lower class and then the last thing is he's gonna pr uh, pronounce himself as the Messiah saying that he is the Messiah or he's on a, some type of messianic voyage to help us all and there's one last thing he's going to do, which is going to bring about the end of the world. He's going to try and unite the Europe's and therefore cause world chaos and bring about the end. I guess what everyone's thinking now is how about Barack Obama? Barack Obama is the Antichrist. 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 A young political leader who rises to power with a message of peace and unity and leads a world religion that proclaims we are God. Barack Obama is in fact, the Antichrist. The Antichrist. The Antichrist. Obama is the Antichrist. The Antichrist being the Antichrist. One of the candidates is, is the Antichrist. Antichrist. Barack Obama is the Antichrist. The Antichrist. The Antichrist. The Antichrist. Barack Obama did come to the economic leader of power. So he is arguably the most powerful man in the world. He did actually pronounce himself as a messiah. There's actually a, a quote that he says, I feel like I am on a messianic voyage or some type of voyage to help the country or help the world. He feels like he's sent by God somehow. Barack Obama has a messiah a complex. Light a light will shine down from somewhere. It will, it will light upon you. You will experience an epiphany. And you will say to yourself, I have to vote for Barack. And the last part of it, which really brings in some weird things into check, is that, uh, let's say that the Bible, it does give a specific um, time frame. There will be four years of hell on earth before the end of days. Well, how long is Barack Obama's term? Four years. Have we, have we started hell? A lot of people might say so. As soon as Barack Obama was elected, we had a huge economic recession. We fell from power, predicted in the Bible. And what, what's next to come? You know, let's go more into scientifically then. Maybe you guys aren't the, the biblical type. Let's go into scientifically. We have computer programs that have all sorts of information loaded into them, all the way back from history, 
uh, chemistry, physics, biology. It, this program is an internet program that knows everything. It has historical events programmed into it. It locates patterns. It locates events. It, what it does is it tries to predict the patterns of history, basically, by factoring in all aspects down to a, an atomic level. I mean, it can literally predict chemical equations, uh, nuclear wars. And so far, what it has predicted, Hurricane Katrina. It predicted Hurricane Katrina two years ahead of time. It predicted the tsunamis in Sri Lanka. And it also predicted the Iraq war, it predicted the Twin Towers bombing. This program is predicting events that are happening years and years ahead of time. And the next event that it just predicted, December 21st, 2012, the termination of mankind. And, you know, you just got to really think about this, that biblical aspects, scientific aspects, we're all backing this date up with so many different things. It's in history, it's in prophecy, it's in oracle foretellings, it's in revelations, it's in the Bible, it's in modern programs that we're creating. December 21st, 2012, just may be the end of the world. And if so, what are you going to do about it?